Can I just ask you, where did you get this number from? We're ex-directory here. What do you mean mutual friends? Look, Hail and Pace is a brand. Pig Blister is a pig with a blister. <laughs> no, I don't want to be in Pig Blister. Please don't call here again. Thank you. Beneath the fringe. Hello there, and welcome uh, to the latest episode. And I'm here with the wonderful Steve Bennett, dream maker and heartbreaker, and the voice person being behind the infamous Chorter website. Thank you. It's nice to finally meet you, Steve. So let's talk about the Edinburgh Festival. And so you've been going there for more than 10 years, I presume. Yeah, yeah. Um, 2000 was the first year I worked. OK. I went, used to go in as a punter like from the 80s. Is it hard to come to each and review each show with sort of fresh eyes when you're seeing like seven or eight shows a day and to give that show a fair chance? Uh, if you've seen and been relentlessly seeing shows all day long. Yeah, it's different. I wouldn't do eight a day. I'm that silly. I do five. Oh, right, five. I do five, oh, five, five Steve. It's silly. That's just ridiculous. Okay, I wouldn't want to see more than that. Yeah, yeah. Five shows. Five shows a day. Um, yeah, I mean, you're sort of, you are sort of seeing it in a different way in the punter, and it's mm -hmm. because it's not that you're sort of necessarily tired or anything. It's just you yeah. know, like, oh, I've got to see what I'm going to write about this and sort of taking a step back from it a bit. Um, so you can do five because you're saying I'm watching this and mm. sort of taking. But equally, I'm not probably not a great audience member because I don't laugh too much unless something's gone horribly wrong. Or what you laugh when things go horribly <laughs> wrong? I'm sure you don't that do is, that. No, Steve. of course. I'm sure yeah. you don't do that. What's your perspective when you write a review? I think you're trying to you're just trying to be truthful on what you thought of the show and yeah. whether you liked it or not, and then where you felt it sort of fell short, for example. I think mm -hmm. it would be like a direction saying, look, I thought this was, didn't work because of this, because of that. Um, I don't see much, I mean, you know, we've all written horrible one-star reviews. Mm -hmm. um, Do you enjoy I, writing a one-star review or? Yeah. You do, <laughs> but I also enjoy, I also enjoy writing five star reviews. Okay, I think okay. it's fair. one of the five star reviews is the best to write. Right, five stars are probably better because because either way you're just going. I love this. Or I hate it. I must tell everybody. Yeah, Spl splurges out. They're really easy to write. Yeah, but I don't for the one stars. You want to say I li didn't like this because of this specific thing, and this is wrong, and this is wrong. And this yeah, is wrong. I don't like those ones that oh this is about as funny as injecting my eyeball with AIDS or something. People just try and do that sort of just. Be it. So what would you say your favourite Edinburgh shows you've seen and why, what has made them so great? What makes a really great legendary show stick out in your head? Uh, well, it can be a number of things. I mean, the ones that I tend to remember, the ones that have a real strong emotional pull. Mm -hmm. um, some of Stuart Lee's ones have had that. Some, all of, all Sorry, of who Kitsons is this Stuart Lee character? Almost really all of Daniel must... Kitson's have had that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, it, it can be... You know, your shows and you've done big, joyous, funny shows, they're good as well. They work. Well, just as good. <laughs> they were just as good. Just as good as Stuart Lee's <laughs> shows. So they were just as good as Stuart Lee's shows. Just as good as Stuart Lee's shows. The man you've never heard of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's I'm your happy benchmark. With that. And what about, and, and just as good as Kitson's shows as well? Nearly as good as Kitson's shows. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> I mean, it's mostly stuttering, though, isn't it? It is, yeah, there's 20 minutes. Stuttering and whimsy. <laughs> <laughs> we can put it in, he's fine. He doesn't watch he doesn't watch TV anyway, it's fine. If you could give some advice to a new performer coming to the fringe or someone coming into comedy from someone who's seen so much, um, what would you say is the best way to go about it? Um, well, I think it's obviously you've got to make sure the show is right. Yeah. And I think it's quite a big ask to get something. You should a you should listen to me for an hour because I am that interesting, yeah. funny. So, and then b you should pay eight to twelve pounds for that 
privilege or whatever, you know, she begins to pay for a show. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people come underprepared or just not interesting enough. There might be, again, there was, there's that big thing of being a good 20 minute comic and an hour's a big difference. Yeah. Um, so don't just shove 10 minutes of banter and 20 minutes of you know, your B-grade stuff in there yeah. and that'll do. Mm -hmm. Especially when there's 900 shows, that won't do. Yeah. So it's, it's all about the show. You know, and I do still think, it's harder and harder because there's more and more shows, but I do think good stuff will rise up. Mm -hmm. And it does also take for you at least three Edinburgh's to get yourself a name in Edinburgh from nothing. Ah, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. And, and obviously to be a good comic, it just takes a lot of practice and practice and practice, and I don't want to do that. Or uh, some people are, you know, naturally talented, Steve. And it still takes practice and practice and practice. Or but some people can just, you know, do, do uh, real, real naturals. No. I think some people are. No. I think there's a couple of people out there who are. <laughs> well, I'm definitely sure there's at least one person out there who is. Right, well, um, that's it. Thank you very much, um, Steve Benet. It's pronounced Benet, right? Uh, why not? Steve Benet, uh, for a very informative discussion, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Yes, I will work with you. Now, just leave me alone, please. What was that?